Hi there folks and welcome to this talk on computing science looking at the key skills that are used in computing science. The first skill that we have to look at is obviously practical application. 40% of your final mark is based on coursework which is really assessing your practical skills and obviously we're going to be working with technology throughout most of the course but another key aspect that you might not have thought about is analysing. We have to analyse problems to make sure that the code or website that we're going to create does what it's asked to do. Your pathways through computing science at school start in S3 if you wish to take computing, where you can take BGE computing. After that in S4, you can take National 4 computing science or National 5 computing science. All students start at one of these two levels. And we can flex around which level you're on as the year progresses. In S5, you can move on to higher, or you could be on National 4 or National 5, depending on if you've just joined us or what you did in S4. And then in S6, you move up a level and some of you might get onto advanced higher, which would be really great. Note that getting National 5 or higher computing will give you a massive advantage if you're looking at a future career in science or engineering. Let's look at the content of computing now. There are four strands that run in computing all the way from S3 up to advanced hires. The first strand is programming. We then have web pages, databases, and how computers work, which is also called computer systems. And throughout these, you'll get bits of security. You've already done some programming in S1 and 2 when you've used Scratch. If you take computing in S3, you'll be using Python, which is a text-based language, and you'll be learning about things such as integers and strings. At National 5, you'll learn a new language called Visual Basic, this will allow you to see how different languages work and you'll be looking at things like some more data types and standard algorithms. At higher, we move back to Python, but we're doing more advanced stuff with it. This will include things like files and functions and complex data types, plus some more advanced standard algorithms. The second strand of topics in computing is web pages. And you've already been doing this in S1 and S2 when you've been looking at Google Sites or Weebly. In S3, we expand on this work to look at the code behind the websites, and this will include things like how to change text color or format text. National 5, the web page work starts to add in more complex that, content, that, such as we, video we? or sound. If you take higher computing, the website you'll be expected to write has to look a lot more professional and it will include things like navigation bars or forms and interactive content. The third strand in computing is databases and you haven't looked at these before in S1 or S2. S3 computing looks at how to retrieve data from a single table in a database using a language called SQL. At National 5, the database work is expanded to look at how we create a database and how we check that the values being added to the database are valid. The database work at higher has become more complicated. You'll be using multiple tables and you'll have to use things such as aggregate functions which can calculate, for example, the maximum cost that a particular garage charged a customer. The final strand in computing is computer systems, and this includes things like binary, which you've already done in S2. And if you get as far as higher computing, you'll have to learn how to use binary for minus numbers. This strand will also cover things like how a computer works and what the different parts of it are. In particular, it will look at how the processor works. If you're looking to take National 5 or higher computing, in a normal year, this is assessed by both an exam and coursework. And assuming that they don't make any changes after all the impacts of this year's lockdowns, then the split in the course is as such. We have software development, which is 40% of the exam and 50% of the coursework. Databases, which are 25% of the exam and 25% of the coursework. Web development, which is also 25% exam and coursework. And the final 10% of the exam is computer systems. Computer systems does not appear in the coursework. The final thing I want to talk about is if you didn't take computing in S3 but would like to take it in S4, can you? Well, the simple answer is yes, but I would assume you'll be on National 4. If you're wanting to get National 5, you need to have been doing computing work throughout the last year and you need to get in touch with me as soon as possible. That's it. Thanks for listening. Bye.